Okay, here's what I'm going to do with the steering shaft. I cut a piece of uh, about a one inch and a half of that uh, gas pipe that I showed you in my last video that I was going to use. And I'm going to use it for the bottom of the shaft. This will spin nice, has no movement, and just enough play, just enough to uh, turn the shaft. What I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bottom on it, make it like a cup, then I'll weld it down here, and the shaft will actually just slide into it. And any time I want to remove it, I just move, remove these two bolts, slide the shaft out, and I'm done. And this will also prevent from the shaft coming down. And then I'll use, I'll use exactly the same thing, except maybe only a half an inch, or maybe a quarter of an inch thick, or wide, for a bushing here. So this one here is going to make the shaft not be able to go down. And then I'll use the bushing over here. Or that you can't pull it up. I'm working on that right now. Yeah, that'll work out nice. I tap this over here and then the other bracket is going to go on top to hold it. And then whenever I want to remove the shaft, I just pull it out. That's perfect. I went ahead and I made my pippin arm. I'm just going to weld it on. When I ordered the tire rod ends, uh, they came, one came as a male, one as a female. I ha I didn't order any rods because I didn't know what length I was going to need. So what I did, I went out and I bought a um, 3 8, eight, three eight inch rod and I ended up making my threads myself. Uh, I actually made a bit of thread on this side also. For the male because what I'm gonna do here is I'll put that nut there 
I'll add two nuts here. Screw this in just to get it nice and straight. And then what I'll do is I'll weld these nuts together just to make it as a one threaded sleeve. Then I'll grind it down nice and everything. And these threads here, I should have shown. I actually made two of them. One for each side. Um, I should have shown how I made the threads because uh, the 3 h thread, uh, sorry, the 3 h rod, if you try to tap it, it's really, really hard. At least with my taps are, anyway. And you can't do it. So what you got to do is like grind it down a little bit where you're going to thread and then tap it. It worked out perfect. Okay, so here's the finished tie rod ends. I welded the nuts here, grinded them down. I'm going to clean it up a little bit better, but they work perfect to the right size. And um, I got lots of adjustment on them. Yeah, they actually came out pretty good. Once I clean them up. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So here's where I sit with my steering. Um, the way I had the steering, I had the, the pitman arm on the shaft facing downwards. My spindles connection, tie rod connections are facing forward and I had my pitman arm shaft welded facing downwards and what was happening was every time I turned right the steering would turn left funny isn't it I either had uh, a little bit too much to drink that day or I didn't have enough to drink so I got to redo it and I have to have the pitman arm facing upwards um, I can't turn the spindles around because if I turn them around the connection is going to end up back here and it'll be in the way of my pedals so, yeah, let me fix this, and uh, hopefully I'll get it right this time. Okay, so here's the steering finished product. Uh, I knew all I needed to do was have one extra pair. Uh, now I turn right and the steering actually goes right. I turn left and it goes left. I just had to tip an arm the other way around. I had to bring it up instead of down. I don't know how I goofed. Well, I do know how I goofed. I just wasn't paying attention. But yeah, it actually came out nice. So I'm going to be on to the pedals now. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys stay tuned for uh, the next one. And please, if you like my, the build, subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching.